All right, hey everybody, back working on the Mustang. Today um, I'm going to put some primer on this trunk lid. I've been working on this piece over the winter, and now it's, uh, it's close to the summertime and it's ready to paint. So I got some of that epoxy primer I'm going to mix up just like I did on the roof. And we're going to squirt some on this trunk lid. I know it's uh, just a small thing, but I just kind of wanted to give everybody an update. I think what I'm going to do for the summer is um, try and paint the whole car. So that's going to really be the focus. We're going to shift away from uh, working on the suspension and the engine until it gets colder again because you can, you can do those things where it's less temperature dependent. But painting and filling and sanding, all that stuff, that kind of needs the temperature to be at a certain range. So the summertime is perfect for that. So we're going to paint the car. Hopefully in the fall we'll be ready to paint it. So here it is. This is the new deck lid that we bought from uh, Mustangs Unlimited. So it's a reproduction piece. And it came with a black e-coat on it. And, and at first, you know, I thought it was pretty good, pretty smooth. And um, it didn't look like it had a lot of issues with it. There were a couple of dents that we managed to inflict upon it by ourselves. So I knew I had to fix those. So in the process of kind of sanding off the e-coat, to do those couple of minor little dents and dings, I decided just to sort of use the e-coat as a guide coat and sand the whole thing. And when I did that, you know, I saw lots of uh, ups and downs and highs and lows. So I figured I would just uh, sand it, I mean, fill it and sand it. And this is what it turned out to be. Kind of have about, you know, at least 10 steps of filling and sanding little areas here. The pink stuff is is Bondo, and then the blue, or the green, whatever you want to call it, is a um, is Eastwood's Contour Glazing Putty that you just, it's a lot thinner, a lot runnier, you know, you mix it up like filler, and it's just supposed to fill in your sanding scratches and any kind of little small minor imperfections. So enough uh, jibber-jabbering, I mean, I'm going to put some uh, epoxy primer on this, so let me go mix that up, and then we'll squirt it on. All right, so let me show you. I'm really happy with how it looks in the glare. You know, that's really the true test of how flat your panel is. When you can get it in the glare like this, and you don't see a lot of bumps or waves or ripples, it's starting to flash, so some of it's drying. You know, it dries quicker, you know, when it's on the uh, metal, I think, than in the filler or the other way around, either way. So you're starting to see some dry spots and, and whatnot here and there, but I think it it came out really good. You know, it shows me that the bodywork looks really nice. I don't see any dents or waves or bumps or anything like that. Again, I mixed up way too much uh, primer for this small of a job, so I got to learn how to proportion it better. And it looks like I got some orange peel this time. I think it might have been my air setting, but it is. I can see it is kind of running out. And flattening itself out a little bit, so maybe I'll, uh, you know, maybe you know, I just got to keep that in mind. Maybe thin it a little bit more. I didn't put any thinner in. I just put half activator and half uh, primer. But I'm pleased with what it looks like in terms of the bodywork. That's really all that I'm interested in at this point. I know that this is just a temporary protection coat until we get around to doing the full, you know, primer and sanding and everything. Man, if I stand like way back here and, and get the glare of the light in it, it looks really nice and flat. 
I mean, I know it's got a curve in it, but I mean, what I'm saying is it doesn't have any waves or ripples or anything. I don't see any dents. So that's it. I got to go clean the gun out now. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. I got a little bit too much again uh, spray on this edge where it turns down. I got a couple of drips, but it's not as bad as the roof, so I am learning a little bit. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Keep coming back. We'll be working on the Mustang.